My little child, when I am gone, be good, and the God will always take care of you. I will look down and open you from the heaven. I will be with you. <sighs> The maiden went every day to her mother's grave and cried. Cinderella's father used to travel a lot for work. He decided to remarry so that he could get someone to take care of Cinderella. He got married to a widow who had two young daughters. Cinderella, can't you do it? A single thing properly. Yes, mother. I will do it now. Sorry. The people of the kingdom, I have a message for you from the king. Everyone is invited to the grand ball on Saturday of the next week. He will choose the princess for the prince on the occasion. Come on, girls, start preparing for the ball. I want the prince to marry either of you. And you, Cinderella, help both of them to prepare. My girl should look like the princesses. One of them is going to marry the prince soon. Oh, mother, the prince will marry me. Cinderella, uh, fix my hair and help me get dressed. <laughs> this will take lots of time. And by the time, the party will be over. <laughs> Don't cry, my child. I will send you to the ball. <sighs> Who are you? And how can this be possible? This dress is all torn. And I, I don't have a gown to wear on the ball. Don't you worry, my sweet child. Gilly, gilly, gilly. <laughs> Cinderella's old clothes changed into a new beautiful gown. Oh, how beautiful she is. The handsome prince saw her and fell in love with her at the very first sight. He approached her. Hi, beautiful lady. May I have the pleasure of dancing with you? Yes, yes, of course. The prince didn't dance with anyone else. He couldn't take his eye off Cinderella. Cinderella danced all night with the prince that she almost forgot the clock was approaching. Cinderella is dancing with the king. Suddenly, she remembers the grandmother's words. The crook caught her eye. I must go home now. But just... As she was running, one of her gl glass shoes bled off her. And she had no time to get it back. As she saw the prince was running behind her, she quietly sat in the carriage and went away. The prince saw her shoe and quickly begged it. Why did she run away? It was twelve on the way her carriage disappeared. My lord. He broke the lock and went inside. To his, to his surprise, he saw a girl sitting near the window. I found a girl here. The prince, the man, gathered near her and she was made to try on the shoe. The shoe fit Cinderella's foot perfectly. The stepmother was shocked. Oh, no, 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 no. I have finally found you. What is your name? Cinderella. He instantly went down on one knee and proposed to her. Cinderella, will you marry me? Yes, yes. The prince took her hand on his hand, kissed it. He then rode back to the palace along with Cinderella.